more cartoonish rivers. Today looking at Australia, a couple locations, and not too much to show you in Australia, just a few interesting examples, a handful of uh, 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 interesting thingamajigs, and uh, so we will check these out. We will also take a brief look at Ukraine, this one, Russia, I al already showed you this area uh, fairly extensively, but I have a few new place marks in the area, so I will go over those, and one more Russia one here. We'll also go like into northern, kind of central Russia, this big, huge area of uh, all these lakes and also the rivers, and then we'll take a look at some artificial features, uh, uh, crisscrossing the landscape, some angles and stuff. And then Kazakhstan, we will take a brief look here, another Kazakhstan example. And last, we will look at Guinea, and there's a lot of interesting old grid and other stuff in this general area, so we will look at that. Uh, so right now, let's mosey over to Australia. So let's look at this one first. So this is um, actually a brief comment first. Uh, all the cartoonish river stuff, at least the stuff I've looked at, basically anywhere like along the northern coast of Australia, there's um, all the rivers have the kind of subjective look of the, the cartoonishness I talk about. And there's um, some interesting stuff. Uh, I haven't looked at it too closely, but... Uh, I have enough to s suspect that it's there's some weirdness and also um, just the subjective aspect of it. They have the same look to them that some of the Russia rivers and some of the other odd uh, river systems uh, it has kind of a similar look. So let's look at this one first over here. Uh, so it's this. And none of the historical photos have great uh, contrast, so we'll have to do with kind of a uh, f uh, f uh, faded coloration or whatever you want to call it. But uh, just subjectively, uh, I didn't find any really straight lines or angles here, but subjectively it kind of has the uh, squiggly cartoonish look, just kind of wiggly and goofy. Uh, Certainly could be natural, just uh, making the general point that it uh, the, the cartoonish rivers may be in Australia as well. And if they're pretty much everywhere, why wouldn't they be in Australia? Uh, still considering the clean sweep, sweep, sweep thing or the um, edited, edited coastline. So not talking about that too much today, but could be. And the other location, next one was uh, over here, this general area. And uh, so this is where the still image was right here. Uh, but I wanna look uh, just over here a little bit and show you a couple things. So this is reminding me of uh, the San Andreas Fault just this kind of linear path here. This could be an old river path, certainly. Uh, just has kind of a kind of a look to it. The edge of it there. Awesome. I was gonna say angle here, maybe not. Uh, yeah, this potential. Um, abrupt path here looking similar to a lot of wide paths we see in a lot of places and not perfectly straight obviously could be a natural feature of the river or former river path uh, we also have this right here so there's this striking me as a little abrupt and strange in the historical photos. Sorry. Two 
2004. Uh, great resolution, 2011. Yeah, I mean, just kind of a straight stripe. And a lot of these tick marks, they look somewhat oddly regular to my eye. I could be wrong on that. Could just be the coloration or whatever. But yeah, we have this straightish segment here, which does seem to curve or uh, change path, change course here. And it seems to go like that. And. Okay. But could be. There could potentially be some artificiality there. And then this. Somewhat regular there. Or uniform ish. Um, this river system, just a little bit to the north of it, is uh, starting to have that subjective kind of cartoonish look. It's the. Uh, the tree lines look a little odd to me um, in some places, like just somewhat abrupt and linear in some, some places. Um, like, let's look right here. So we have, this is looking slightly angular to me, er, 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 like that, especially, and then this right here see this uh, coastline it almost looks like it uh, that stroke continues like right here and like and maybe even like like this with like that as part of it like that maybe um, that that doesn't even necessarily indicate anything artificial it just Noting the look of it, and but uh, yeah, it could be something artificial. And what else? Okay, so this is where the still image was. We've got these tick marks, which look somewhat strange. Um, I mean, they're understandable from a natural standpoint. So and we have this so, somewhat angular thing, kind of reminiscent of that eyebrow thing I was talking about. Like, where is that? It's like over here somewhere. Uh, let's, let's see, eyebrow, eyebrow. Uh, there we go over here so so we have this type of thing just the shape of it it's like an eyebrow so like this um, could be a former river path or mudslide or something who knows but it just kind of has a similar look to uh, over here where we were looking um, over here I believe This almost kind of has that eyebrow look, just like one, it's likely one of the part of one of these uh, streaks or beach ridges, just to be noted. Here we have a straight path, but that might be like a footpath or a trail or something. Okay. And these things, these tick marks, uh, parallel streak things, likely natural, potentially artificial. Who knows? Here's another angular, somewhat angular, abrupt tree line. This here, we have some awkwardly angular, er, er, and So this area, I don't really have any uh, all-star or outstanding um, standout examples 
Uh, it's just the subjective component hits me pretty hard in this area, the spidey senses. So uh, for whatever whatever that's worth, uh, toolpath, I mean, maybe like that or something. And very straight line edge. Okay, so here we go. This, like right here. Continuing like that, and you see it continuing here, pretty straight, and then it curves, so it could be natural, just a little straight there, and even right here, pretty straight, okay, what else, I think that's all the place marks in the area, um, so I guess if you wanted a good feel for Australia, you could uh, just go up the coast here and check out these rivers. And I have a couple place marks, nothing like super solid or definitive, just some suspicions. And then the other image in Australia I had was of uh, Brisbane. Uh, near the airport there, so that's I guess on the west coast of, or I'm sorry, the east coast of Australia, and then the place marks I have are right here. So here's this airport here, and then I've got uh, so this river right here, I'm suspecting is cartoonish. Um, it's definitely definitely has like straight stretches like here here and there obviously um, it's just the question is whether that's modern work or uh, otherwise and obviously some heavy heavy modern work in the area uh, I just want to illustrate that there can be um, modern work and and this old weird stuff uh, side by side or uh, on top of one another. So uh, one thing I wanted to point out is um, right here. So this this choke of this river where this one uh, gets um, the width uh, goes down to this smaller width. So we have um, almost like one of those wedges uh, I was talking about where it's like an arc uh, with some like curvature like that and then like a swept arc like that kind of I, I think it was Mozambique maybe that we saw that in one of the previous episodes uh, possible toolpath what do I mean I don't see anything but uh, yeah just considering that this curvature is while it could certainly be modern work, it could also be part of this, uh, like an old maneuver like that. Uh, so let's look at the historical photos real quick, just to get a feel for what it looked like. So here we have potentially some of those stroke marks, 2001. So it's got just uh, this choke to it. Obviously, it could be modern, and another similar kind of choke here, like, it seems like it gets thinner from here to here, so, I don't know, could be modern, otherwise, whatever. And also, same deal for, for these, just questioning the, the naturalness of these, whether they're goofy or... Uh, artificial. So like this one, we have a one of these parallel lines across. We're in the 2001 photo, so we have this going across. Very similar to what we see in like the Sunder bands in Vietnam and stuff. So we have this, and we see these faint parallel grooves. So uh, could be modern. Just a lot of these straight lines here. Another one, maybe here, and yeah, I 
Can you still see this one in other photos? I think it kind of fades out, but it's there in 2001, whatever it is. Okay, this is how it looks today, more or less. Here, this straight linear bit, likely drainage. That. And then we have stuff like this and like these angular patches could be clearing of the area for land development or whatever. Um, see this straight line here or something potentially. Let's go hit the rest of my place marks. This line, you see here? This right here. And we see it continue down like this. And maybe, I don't know, like that. Again, maybe modern prepping of the land. But uh, we have other faint parallel lines like this here, this here, this here. And I've got a kind of clean curve there. So I would say I'm not 100% certain that this is all modern work. This could be some old stuff. What about here? So here we have faint parallel lines, potentially. Oh, these. Uh, that's probably modern, actually. Almost certainly. Yeah. Yeah, they cleared the trees and then uh, they're driving around doing stuff. Okay. So that's modern right there. This remains of old grid. Mm. No, that's modern stuff. Yeah. Okay. So here we see plenty of uh, parallel lines, but this is apparently modern, right? Yeah, yep. So we do need to be careful and discerning. Straight stretch of river, 2001 photo. Let's see this. Oh, this guy. Yeah, so this may be one of those rivers that's like natural or natural-ish, and then er, straight stretch, and then uh, kind of meandering and natural, meandering, and then er, straight stretch, straight stretch, maybe another one of those chokes, or like, mm, I don't know, but uh, straight stretch certainly could be a modern uh, addition or editing. Straight stretch, straight stretch, and then, yeah, just kind of likely entirely modern, but I don't know. So, just pointing it out as potentially weird because we have seen that, like, especially in New Jersey, the meandering rivers that have a straight component to them. So, I'm just trying to illustrate that that can. Uh, occur in other places and on different scales. So uh, obviously this river is kind of um, uh, taken over by modern work more recently. Uh, it looks like exp expansion of the airport or whatever. So when does that happen? So 2012 is still there, 2013. Looks like by 2015 they've uh, repurposed this area. So 
this may be an older feature, this, or it may be modern industrial stuff that they just decided to repurpose the area for the airport. <clears throat> Certainly. Okay. And remains of old grid. Maybe. I will say I'm not particularly seeing it. I'm seeing some faint lines and stuff like here. Like this, certainly this. So these could be those old weird channels. Um, hasn't really changed much, these straight features like this. Just kind of overgrown straight features. 2001 kind of look pretty much the same. Modern, uh, weird. Artificial stuff. I don't know. Okay, I think that ra that about wraps up this area. So let's go back to our photos and see where we're going next. Uh, Ukraine. We already covered this area pretty thoroughly in the out of place channels videos. Um, I do want to go scroll around the surrounding area and take a gander at some of the um, up in Belarus, some similar stuff there, and just uh, associated features in the surrounding area, parallel lines and stuff. So we will go look at that. And then after that, we will look at uh, one more quick look at this Russia place with these uh, angular features and... Uh, I already showed this as well in the out of place channels videos, so I will um, skip most of this area that I are already covered, and then I have trouble with the word already for some reason, it trips me up. Um, I already covered a lot of this uh, Russia area, so I will... Um, but I do have some new place marks in the area, so I want to show you those new place marks. So let us hop over to Google Earth and go to, um, what's it called? Ukraine, yeah, there we go. Okay, so we are up here in Ukraine, northern Ukraine, and I actually want to, well, here's where those still images are, these, uh, uh, straight channels and yeah, a bunch of straight channels here. Uh, but I want to show you uh, up here. Let's just start uh, up here in Belarus and check out some stuff. So we have uh, a lot of parallel lines through the trees, which is potentially strange. So let's check out the historical photos. And 2004 is the earliest we get, and we do see the same lines. Um, hard to say what's modern work and what was there already, but lots of parallel lines and angular stuff. Um, here, maybe like an abrupt angular end to these streaks. Let me turn these back on down here as well. So these, these parallel lines of trees and the straight edge here. So unclear from the historical photos how long those have been there, 2013, 2012. Well, not getting much of a look before that, but let's see, 2004, doesn't show as much, 2013, so no real, <clears throat> no real idea how long these lines have been there. Uh, just the, um, the widespreadness of this parallel type of look is uh, a little suspicious to me. Uh, lots of like 
angular patchy chunks of trees. So, to be investigated, I would say here's a potentially awkwardly straight and uh, angular end to this stretch here. And then the worked over look of the whole area, uh, I'm about 50-50 whether that's modern uh, landscaping or land prepping or something for some type of development or whether that is uh, this artificial weirdness. So let's take a look like right here. This is probably modern. So 2017. Looked the same since 2004, basically. Uh, not much change. Just a little, uh, some slight modifications here, but just the worked over look in 2004. Mm, looking potentially recent, so can't say for sure. Suspecting still that these streaks may be mimicked, some of them anyway. Um, these lines this way, this way, and even stuff like this I'm not sure about, like these, these parallel lines. And yeah, definitely like this is the general idea, these rows of trees. So any number of explanations, many of them down to earth. Um, let's hit the rest of these place marks. Parallel lines, got that one. And just getting a general feel for it as we work our way over. Some potential angularity here. Here, just like subtle straight lines and stuff. It's kind of straight gash or groove. This kind of angular looking. This is kind of fairly linear here. So historical photos, 2019, 2016. A little curve to it, maybe. And this one, it looks like it curves down here. Two thousand thirteen, two thousand twelve. Looking for any other kind of angular angularity or angular features. Certainly these patches of trees, but likely that's that may be modern. So this guy fairly linear in 2011, kind of abrupt, somewhat, somewhat angular here. Some faint uh, indications of angularity. And the rest of these place marks. So we have, well, right here I'm seeing kind of a linear stretch like that. See that? Potentially out of place. Looks like it curves though, it curves and then fairly straight for a while. Could be natural or even modern. This. Like this line uh, here, somewhat straightish, then it curves. Somewhat angular end to this uh, streaks right here, like uh, uh, uh. possibly, possibly. Okay, and then over here we have a linear stretch. Somewhat linear anyways. So 
like this right here. Fairly linear, like a channel. Modern work, potentially, of course. Then we have stuff like this, like this fairly straight. It's like the edge of the river continues as this very straight edge here. Fairly awkwardly, this similar straight look to it. Um, similar kind of thing here, fairly straight edge other edge of it there maybe and of course more natural looking stuff as well uh, place marks this mm. This could be like an artificial thing or natural. I could see it being natural. This edge here. Yeah, there's a good chance it's natural. If and only if the river system is natural. So here we have like a kind of abrupt line there, I would say. And uh, some of these awkward lines. And we've got crews of people here doing stuff, so they're obviously doing this, and who knows what else. So, should be noted. All right, we're working our way south. We covered uh, this stuff up here, and so let's go right here. Lines and straight parallel lines. So these, yeah, these, uh, abrupt lines of trees and these parallel lines of trees. Uh, so these parallel lines looking I would say too straight to be natural certainly. See some like there. It's a definite some kind of path or linear or something here. And then it's it turns into trees along that line. And here, seeing the same thing, if you look closely. Here, even like that. These faint lines across, and looking like they do continue across like that. Pretty faint, but I'm almost certain that they're there. So we have these lines going this way for some reason. Even these little Tick mark things may be uh, uh, strangeness. Hopefully, we get a good look here. Nope, 14. These like fine lines here. Kind of angular looking. These uh, these uh, little uh, patches of trees. Not much change since we can see at least straight line there. Or straight or curved? Well, kind of a nice clean curve. And I'm also seeing like lines this way, like this here, parallel lines that way. So here we see these parallel lines not changing too much. Uh, since when? 2012? Well, they are there in 2012. There's cloud cover, obviously, but still could be modern work, but it strikes me as the, the oddness, the protocol, the weirdness. Um, and yeah, here you see kind of a line across, maybe, faintly. Maybe even this. Like that line right there. So lots of lines. Here are more lines. Lines this way. That, that. 
here. Where's the place marks? Yeah, lines. So like this line here, and then even like this and this, potentially these. So a lot of linear stuff. Mm, potentially abrupt edge here, somewhat linear. What else we got place mark wise? We got this guy, parallel lines. Uh, not seeing it. Okay, oh, yeah, just uh, these. More of the same, similar thing. Straight parallel lines. And like these two here. There and there. Kind of see it continuing maybe like that. Even this like curved thing strikes me as cartoony, I would say. So, some kind of angular patchiness here. Uh, oddly regular, suspiciously regular. And this, how much of this is modern? That's a good question. So this may be all logged and because uh, we do see modern activity here. So this whole area may, be, may just be uh, um, logged or lumberjacked, whatever the term is. Pretty sure it's not lumberjacked. All right, so that's the general gist. There's lots of that stuff. We could go find more if we wanted to. But we don't want to, do we? Okay, no we don't. So let's go south to, uh, from Belarus into Ukraine. And just here, just noticing, uh, just in the intermediate area, this uh, line across, potentially modern, these straight lines across here, potentially modern, potentially strangeness, more of the parallel patches. Mm. Yeah, decent chance that's modern. Here maybe, here even. All right, let's go down to um, Ukraine. If I can focus for a minute. This isn't really angular patches. Parallel lines, certainly. Like here's a, a linear edge, I would say. Fairly linear, anyways. So, there's more we could find in the intermediate area, but place marks here. These parallel lines, uh, I know they're there as far back as we can see, which is 2008, apparently. So, I don't know. I could go either way on this one. Wouldn't surprise me if they're the, the weirdness. Or modern, whatever. Old patterns overwritten, potentially. I can see the kind of old river pattern overwritten by these lines, potentially. These lines here, long parallel lines. No change since 2011. Doesn't mean much. Uh, okay. So, just more of the same, basically. Even this river is like having like a, almost like a star 40 trajectory to it, kind of like an angular look. 
um, presumably some of this is modern, but like, I don't know why they have like multiple, like there's an interior channel here and then a, this channel and then another interior channel and yet another one and then more. There's like so many little channels. It's, I would just call it uh, awkward. And, okay. So, yeah, just all these lines and angles, like, er, 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 er. is that modern? Maybe. Um, wouldn't surprise me if this whole system of uh, little artificial canals, this uh, old um, old activity, or like, um, it's it's been disguised by this uh, terraforming project. It could be civilizational stuff, like an old round of the the Earth game. They just wanted to kind of overwrite or um, retire. So they just put some trees in the area and stuff, or who knows, just like odd shapes to these. Uh, er, 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 these uh, river bends and channel channel directions. So like this angular patch here. Uh, this like angular dirt 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 <clears throat> even this right here dirt, dirt. just in my opinion too many little sub channels and uh, little channels to be practical this one could be practical for transportation or whatever um, So, um, just investigating some of these peripheral areas here, trying to give you a general feel for what may be going on. So these linear grids of trees, modern or not, long line across the river, okay, many parallel lines. Or tree line see 2002 photo mm, yeah like kind of a, a linear tree line see that like right here as well maybe even, uh, I was gonna say right here like that even lots of linear stuff this Maybe a road or something. See how it looks like it's a road here, but on this side where it continues, it's like not, it doesn't look continuous. Like this is blocking it and this kind of dead ends there. And there's just trees. So it's like it, it used to be, either they didn't use all of it when they landscaped it, for modern stuff, or it's like they built a modern road over like an old maneuver, like this big thing. And here's a cool example of um, straight ish with some meander, and then erp, and then straight ish again. And with these little angular turns, reminiscent of Starford stuff, these oddly regular streaks here or parallel tree lines, these parallel lines here. So something strange going on, I think. Yeah, parallel lines, and obviously the scale of it. Any angular patches of trees? Yep. I'm fairly certain I already showed you most of this or much of this, but yeah, like even these lines, these large scale lines here are suspect to me. Like, uh, 
Something strange in the neighborhood. Got that already. And I'll probably wrap this up in a minute. But yeah, this whole river system is a uh, suspect in my opinion. Let's get that 2002 photo, uh, 2011. 2008. Okay. Snowy. Okay. Um, we should probably leave so this doesn't get too long. So modern patchy forest versus terraforming. So we have all these parallel lines here. Dirt, 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 dirt. Um, kind of interwoven with the streaks, kind of abrupt ends in some places. Parallel lines across. And maybe a straight line there. And then also like all this, this patchy stuff. Oh, here's some cool lines. These wavy lines here. Could be anything. Interesting. Potentially faint parallel things going on. Lots of these like little thin um, lines of trees that strike me as weird. Could even just be fences or walls which are adorned with trees or lined with trees or like trails or ro dirt roads or something. Mm. But do you need three of them? I don't know. Like this is obviously a road or a trail or something. So I think like this terraforming project, the, um, the makeover project, I think it made a bunch of patterns likely um, and it, uh, it made them such that uh, some of the patterns could be used for the next round of Earth games or Civilization games or SimCity or whatever. So, uh, so that's why you see some of these being repurposed because they're like a multi-purpose feature and one of the purposes is like to potentially be used as a road. Like even these little bits of streaks here, it's like kind of similar to whatever this is. So, I don't know, even, like uh, these angular patches, I don't I could even see that being something other than like modern uh, logging and stuff. Uh, we are seeing some new patches, so, like right here. Okay, so, good chance that's all modern or mostly modern. But uh, plenty of questionable stuff in the area, I would say. Which makes me uh, question the legitness of the entire river system. All right, I think that's enough of this area. You get the picture. Der, okay. Parallel lines, der. Angular tree lines. And even the channels in the area are suspect to me, not just the river, but the channels themselves, possibly part of this, uh, maybe this, um, part of this project, the weird project. Um, okay, so let's scroll over to Russia where I had those other images. It's in uh, Northern Russia up here, just above China. And up here, so here is where we have all those angular things in the still image. So, like this, dirt, 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 pretty awkward. And a lot of abrupt, very clean 
um, paths and edges. So if you take a look in this area, you might see similar stuff, some linear features, like this kind of guy, like kind of digging into the, or I guess just continuing on the coast, whatever it is. And let's see, surrounding area. I mean, we definitely have some parallel bare spots in the trees there. Since at least 2012 doesn't tell us a whole lot. Okay, but uh, Cliff Notes, I would, my best guess is that this area is like mimicked river activity. Um, recreated artificially through some sophisticated means. And faint indications of like these parallel dirt, 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 uh, herky jerky patches of trees. Uh, and it's a vast area. Obviously, I can't look at every square inch of it, uh, nor do, do I need to, I would say. Potentially straight edge there, although it's too short to say for certain. And who knows what kind of modern activity in the area. Um, obviously, all this stuff could go either way, I would say. Good chance it's modern. Um, all right, but I, I think I wanted to show you some other new place marks I had in the area. So here was these lines and bumps, which hasn't changed in appearance since as far back as we can look, which is 2004. And little load time issues here, but we see the bumps and the lines in 2004. Interesting, okay, lines. lines everywhere so whatever that is modern or otherwise and yeah these parallel lines through the trees still bug me like this even still bugs me even though it could be a trail or something these large grids of activity let's check these out Still haven't gotten to my new place marks in the area, just kind of giving you a general feel for the area. This could be old activity, potentially, or um, logging or whatever. All right, so pretty vast area that's affected. Got straight lines, like broken up straight lines here. Maybe modern stuff. Hard to say. Yeah, I think it's something modern there. Yeah, some kind of plant or something. Doing something. All right. So much of this is going to be modern. Some of it, I would guess, is not. So let me get my bearings here. So there's northern China and um, so this area over here, I got some new place marks, so I want to take a look at these. So this straight edge here. Well, this kind of angular edge is striking me as awkward. Let's look at these in the historical photos. Bummer, not much of a look back in time. Potentially angular and goofy there. A straight edge, certainly awkward and abrupt, I would say, in my opinion. Some similar stuff potentially here, straightish line. Yeah, just questioning if these streaks are natural or mimicked streaks like See how uh, cartoonish that kind of looks. 
like too perfect almost, like angular kind of patches. And once more I'll repeat that rivers can overtake themselves in abrupt ways during this meandering dynamic process, but just some of the nuances are just, uh, they irk me, like this line here is just a little weird. Uh, I just saw another one where this certainly, eh. maybe this, just a little too clean. Yeah, this guy. I always get this feeling like, uh, like this uncomfortable feeling in my tummy because I can't go all the way with the, with the, um, like, a, like full confidence. Um, and I think that's part of how it's designed potentially. So, yeah, a lot of these straight lines. Here's another one straight edges here so this one and here's an example of one that's not that like curves so that may be a variation on it or may even be natural or just a, a different way it mimics it like a different pattern same similar but different some old riverways here or smaller offshoots place marks okay straight edge got the straight edge and did I yeah got the straight edge got the straight edge and then some of these straightish edge there straight edge continues so I'm thinking like this maybe or actually no I'm sorry means something else. So let's look at this. So there's this. Okay, yeah, I had a still image of this. Uh, so I'm, I'm referring to this straight edge here. It's certainly a straight edge, like you see that? Um, maybe even another one here. Actually, that may be two different edges. So we may have like one here and then another slightly different position here and continuing like that. So this one it looks like, okay, so it's fairly straightish there and then it kind of curves, maybe natural, continues across and like that. So that may be an old river path that's natural. And there's also like this one which continues across like that. And then this little guy here, and even like this. So this here, maybe one long maneuver potentially. History. So, good look at those edges here, yeah two edges, um, kind of flowy, maybe natural actually, or at least natural looking. All right. He's a little goofy looking. Yeah, let me turn these back on and before I do th just subjectively these are kind of what I'm referring to as these angular uh, chunky patches that strike me as awkward like here even possibly like this this like that if you see that Stripe of love. Okay, place marks back on. Um, I'm a little turned around, hang on a second. Let me get 
situated. So here was this one. This little gap here. This I actually think is a decent example. It's it's abrupt. It uh, it's kind of discontinuous and looking like it's maybe a continuation of this guy. And I don't know where it would continue over here. Maybe there, maybe not. But uh, that may be something artificial. So uh, these ones, OK. So let's look at this. This, uh, this channel right here. So right there could be natural. I'll say that. 2005 photo. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't look like it's changed in a while. I could see it being like one of those former um, modern channels, like to cut the distance. Or um, here's a boat, I think, for scale. So um, it's pretty wide here. I think this is either natural or made to look natural. Or natural-ish. Natural enough. So in this area, I'm seeing a lot of the same uh, angular stuff uh, that we were seeing um, in the still images. So I want to dig into these place marks. So angular abrupt end to streak, better view in earlier photos. Linear edge, 2005 photo, angular direction change. So let's look at these. Kind of an angular change, like flowy and then more angular over here which could be natural, certainly. Um, and I was saying like these are angular looking, so let's look at earlier photos. Some angular, awkward, uh, or very regular, well-defined, um, somewhat parallel streaks going on. Some potentially angular ends to these, like that. Now looking kind of angular. Two thousand five. Some abrupt ends to these potentially, and nice and parallel there. Maybe even this line here, like that, if you see that, possibly. That may just be my brain making something up. Okay. This edge is a little straight. Same with this one. Place marks. 2005 photo. Okay, so we go back and we see this edge. And here looking like, almost like there's a curve to it. Uh, and here looking like some kind of path that may even be some vehicle or something there, or building, I don't know, but looking like a fairly clean feature. This as well, potentially. Okay, so just the look of it generally has the same look as that other area with the angular stuff. And by that other area, I mean uh, up here, like this, same look. Obviously it's the same general area, but it's got, this place has these angular patches and paths, which may be modern or maybe not. Certainly have some, t some type of path there. Um, okay. So let me get back to these. 
straight path, straight edge continues. Okay, so let's look at that. So like this edge we were just looking at, and looks like it may continue over there. Maybe, faintly. Like this, it's not even perfectly straight, so. It might be, I don't know, I can't tell. Something like that. And it doesn't have to be perfectly straight to be artificial. I think we're dealing with something which, again, uses a wonky mix of uh, styles and patterns. So straight lines, curvy lines, curvy lines that straighten out for a while, straight lines that meander for a while, that type of deal. Just a mishmash of stuff uh, enough to create a weird pattern. I'm looking at this edge here. It's possibly a straight feature. Or straight for a while at least. Kind of somewhat awkward. Oh, it looks like it has a curve to it there. Okay. Uh, place marks. See if I got all the ones I want to get. I think so. Streaks looking very clearly defined and oddly regular in 2005 photo. So these streaks right here, just a little regular and clean, possibly. Again, nature makes some striking patterns, so I'm, I, I may be wrong. And I think that's pretty much all the new place marks I wanted to show in this general area. So, is it artificial? I don't know. Might be. And, all right, so let's wrap this area up. And I always do additional content after I say that. I know I'm guilty of that. Potentially angular there. Blah, blah, blah. Angular there. And straightest line there, maybe similar thing there, faintly, possibly, kind of like that, see that, this faint path there, uh, tire tracks, so this could be vehicle paths, but we will wrap it up in a... Straight edge, no place mark there, but fairly straight. Okay, let's wrap that up and go to uh, our next spot, which is, so Russia, Russia, we showed this one. That was part of these uh, new place marks. And then this other area in Russia we haven't looked at yet. It's more in the northern area of Russia, or like central northern. So let's check this out. Here's that spot in Google Earth. And again, it's very subjective. It's just kind of a feeling I get more than any specific examples. And I'll zoom out to let you know roughly where we are. Kind of up here, um, but it's basically all of I mean, this huge portion of the continent is kind of, uh, oops, got these, uh, these rivers and lakes in a very, very interesting patterns. And, um, so unfortunately I did have one, one area around here. I did spend an hour or two, like finding a whole bunch of straight lines and angles and stuff. Um, but I can't remember the exact location and I think I lost that session. Uh, I don't have Google Earth uh, set up for autosave, so 
occasionally I lose uh, some place marks and I may have lost those. But uh, the idea is um, if you look close enough, pretty much anywhere you, you can see faint paths and indications of uh, artificialness. And I can't really back that up right now. <laughs> um, or it would, it might take me another good half hour or hour to find some really solid examples. Uh, it can, it can take that long sometimes. Um, but yeah, just the subjective look of it. And I could have mentioned, um, I guess it's somewhat appropriate to the topic, uh, cartoonish lakes as well. Sorry if I'm making you dizzy, but, uh, see all these lakes. We've got lakes oriented more or less north-south, north-south like that. Then also some east-west lakes, like two different orientations. Um, not that that in particular is, uh, in and of itself, is suspicious. Just noting the details and the layout. Uh, like some of these, they're just a little goofy looking. They strike me as odd. Like some of these guys little awkwardly regular and somewhat silly looking. So I rather suspect that some of these or all of these are, uh, I don't know, artificially created somehow, whether by like carpet bombing or I don't know, some type of construction method or terraforming method, uh, who knows, I mean, I don't know, but it uh, could be, or they may of course be natural, I don't know. Let me get my place marks going and I'll just hit on what place marks I do have in northern Russia. Uh, not too many, I'll skip over most of them. Just the kind of scaly look uh, to the, um, to a lot of the ground. Okay, interesting enough. And that's a pretty widespread look, probably due to weathering and like mud mud cracks or mud flats or whatever it's called. So that's likely. And some subjectively cartoonish rivers potentially. Uh, let's hit all these place marks. Curvy parallel lines are natural. So we've got these. Potentially, we've got uh, indications of lines this way, like uh, these, these, kind of out of context, that might be natural. Uh, with potential stuff. And I promised myself I wouldn't spend too long on this area. So I'm just trying to hit the uh, important ones. Another example of some semi goofy lakes, I would say. Some more here. Almost looking like, and yeah, some more there. Almost looking like a uh, little math equation or. Um, I mean, I play with a lot of uh, like circles and sine waves and stuff. So this is looking, I don't know, kind of like a caterpillar p pattern or something, just uh, in appearance, but semi goofy. And all right, anything else I flagged? Yeah, over here the other day I got um, these, all right, so let's check this out. Faint parallel lines, 2014 photo. Um, okay. So I'm referring to, it's pretty subtle, but these, like, uh, 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 
and you kind of see it here. I feel like the image is almost different than this morning. Mm, maybe not. Pausing some parallel lines. Clean edge continues. So I think I mean like this. Yeah, so there's this, uh, these large scale um, contrast isn't great, but these um, kind of abrupt changes in the landscape. I can see this kind of clean curve there and then a nice clean straight, not straight perfectly, but somewhat clean edge to this uh, feature here, kind of continuing like that. So some type of potential large scale terraforming, just trying to demonstrate that potentially the whole Russian landscape is a part of this whole deal as well. And there, potentially, right there. And if we back up, see more of it like here, uh, there, see a line, and there, see how crisp that is, or well-defined at least, it's a pretty clean transition. And some parallel lines in the area, could be image stuff, or modern stuff or the weird terraforming stuff, like Alaska has these long lines everywhere, so this could be similar to that. Um, let's follow this guy, because it, uh, it goes pretty far. So this long edge goes... That looks like there's a stagger to it, or a, it's there, and then there's kind of another one here. Um, could certainly be natural, but it seems like it continues like all the way over here, like that, and that's pretty far. Like uh, 90 miles or whatever. So yeah, just the idea that this boundary of sorts is artificial in some sense. And I'm not sure, like, it kind of looks like it's there, kind of looks like another thing here. So kind of layers of, or multiple streaks and strokes like this, and then another one off axis up here. And then potentially artificial rivers. Not good enough resolution to say for sure. Uh, okay, so that's this general area. And um, let me hit all these. Lakes are manufactured, question mark. Just uh, the kind of goofy cleanness of them like these little rectangles in the rounded area. Just pretty, um, kind of surreal looking. See how goofy this all is? So, subjectively it's cartoonish, certainly. Um, I don't know that that necessarily indi indicates it's actually artificial, but it just could, it could be. So considering it and what else we got? Many lakes, some are awkwardly shaped. Okay, pretty much got that. And you pretty much get the scale of it. Nearly straight stretch of river. Um, yeah, I mean, this could be considered certainly uh, good chance it's natural and I'm looking for like paths and stuff. Yeah, I mean that's looking like tire tracks uh, So you got to be careful Ok, 
Okay, and more likes way over here. Basically just more of the same similar landscape. Okay. And this is somewhat interesting, this, uh, along this river here, there's this, uh, line along the top of it, fairly straight. I would say not perfectly straight, but this long linear, uh, scar here, or ravine, or groove. Good chance it's natural, seeing as it kind of, it does seem to have some potential meander to it, or uh, wander. And maybe going off up here. But if you look at it like that, and like that, like that, there's some kind of straightness to it, perhaps. Or not. Um, I really wish I hadn't have lost those place marks because I had some right angles and stuff somewhere, but there's no way I'm going to find it r right now. Russia's just like too huge. So, linear features, a very faint path across river. Let's check this out. Linear features. Okay, it might have been this area. So, I think, okay, I think like maybe across here, like you can kind of see that. And yeah, I think it might have been this area. Actually, there's quite a few f very faint indications of uh, paths and stuff, like almost parallel lines here. Hmm. Let me just do a quick look back. Uh, not a great look. Let's see, maybe a line there. What was the other place mark? Very faint wide path across river. So I think I mean this. Like this. Again, pretty faint. But it's like, kind of like a stripe across. Very faint. And it may even be natural. And stuff like this, like potential edges of something. Hmm. And of course, all these straight lines, I still question. Um, very similar to what Alaska has. And obviously, Russia and Alaska have a similar climate and landscape. And also in Australia, northern Australia, there's a whole bunch of these lines as well. Like the whole area is crisscrossed with them. Um, well, maybe you want to see that, so I'll show you that briefly. Australia lines, which are up here. So the idea is this whole area is crisscrossed with these very long lines. And could be practical, or maybe not. Surveying, or logging, or something. Um, certainly some modern activity at least, but it's a pretty vast area that's crisscrossed with like perfectly straight lines. So, may or may not be related. Okay, but let's go back up to Russia, where we were, which was somewhere over here, I think. Oh, up here. So the faint wide path, potentially. And I think it was this general area, but I just lost like most of the place marks I had. Because I am seeing some f pretty faint, potentially linear stuff. Um, stuff like this. Er maybe. See that? So 
continue. Yeah, it continues, like picks up over here and continues. So whatever this is, this long line, these long lines. So, uh, I don't know, even like this maybe. All right, so there may be some stuff, some straight lines, like here maybe, potentially. And yeah, I should probably give this area another look over eventually and get some more solid examples. But that might be enough for Russia for right now. Mm. Grids, grids, don't want to talk about that. Apache land, blah. Okay, so, long parallel, uh, maybe, maybe. So these large scale streaks could potentially be artificial in my opinion. Either, they could also be like a huge cataclysm if Earth is even a real planet. <laughs> <laughs> or um, or it could be yeah any number of natural weather things or it could be like an artificially induced cataclysm or any number of things great okay so next up I think we had uh, Kazakhstan Stan this area so we will take a look at this is uh, Kazakhstan's right here and this um, there's this river system here as uh, presumably natural and then there's also like uh, this offshoot here which is um, obviously artificial the only question is uh, who's the author and when and for what what reason so um, like right here, from here to here and this and that and see like there's certain stretches of it which are like natural for like just a short portion like maybe this unless they strategically went like off course a little bit to get that natural looking knee and then it kind of goes meanders again and then it goes straight again. So I wonder why they didn't just take a, an artificial course the entire way instead of just uh, part of the way. Like here it's perfectly straight again. Maybe they're going around obstacles potentially or something like that. Like assuming it's modern dredging and then it continues. And then here you can see it like start back here where there's no like they started it. I mean, I guess that makes sense. And then it links back up with the presumably natural river. Not to mention like this huge wide stripe here. Whatever this is. Might just I'm seeing I think I'm seeing tire tracks. Never mind. Mm. Okay, but uh yeah, just an example of a potential uh, channel which may or may not be modern work. And briefly, let's just look at it in older photos. So not much change since 2005, basically the same course. And I couldn't tell you. Uh, who made it, how it was made, why it was made. I'm sure Google could. And then these offshoots like, like see this, here's this artificial stretch, then a natural and then er, I'll be straight for a while and just kind of peter off. So it's like, what, it, what even is that? Like, what's its purpose? The same thing here, straight and then kind of just fades out or goes natural or whatever. 
and straight lines. So it kind of has that Lake Junin look, like the surrounding area of Lake Junin, like all these peripheral channels and stuff. And then I had a place mark on this thingy. This isn't necessarily a river, but it kind of resembles one. So I was just considering that uh, it might be like kind of semi cartoonish, somewhat river. And then this thing right nearby, it uh, it's kind of the same shape. Um, or similar shape and then this is more um, sketchy but or not as good of an example but potential like faint like third thing in that shape but since there's so many lines in the area I'm sure we could find a million examples of like this shape um, so maybe this isn't a great example right here but this is an interesting course it's like an artificial angle but obviously it meanders along that artificial angle, so that's somewhat odd to me. And then we also have this wide thing. Uh, not sure what that is. Could be even a road or something. Let's measure it. Uh, 40 feet across, so not that big. And then that's about it. And then also in the geoglyph or in the area we have mounds and geoglyphs. So that should be considered just strange patterns everywhere. Dirt, dirt, dirt. Uh, and not to mention the whole area looks worked over. Like tsh -tsh -tsh. that could be these guys or somebody. Uh, I suspect it's something else potentially. And where's the other geoglyphs? Yeah, we have this swastika one, or like the tri-spiral, just weirdness and like these faint circles, which aren't just at the geoglyph, they're kind of everywhere, just again, the symbol soup. So something weird going on in the whole landscape, basically. And where's that other one? Uh, up here, we have this other one. And we see these circular peripheral features and these types of mounds are seen elsewhere in the area as well. So uh, it's a pretty large scale operation and it's obviously kind of goofy. So just considering that maybe it extends to the rivers and the landscape, so like this parallel lines in multiple directions, like this whole uh, the whole area basically, the whole landscape is kind of worked over looking. Um, faint parallel lines everywhere. So that's basically what I mean by the tooling of earth. Anything over here worth looking at? Patchy grid, uh, large patchy area, interesting potentially, all right, and usually we're talking about a vast area that's affected, and over here we have a star fort, I think, somewhere, somewhere in Kazakhstan, yeah, here we go, by the, uh, what's, Caspian Sea, up here, this is not my find, somebody else's, but I put a place mark here because it's super cool. Uh, just a star fort chilling out here. Uh, the ruins of one, it's like, looks like it's under dirt for the most part, or partially exposed. And we have all these random rectangles or footprints of buildings or whatever this is. Just chilling out here. So that's pretty cool. I'd, like, I, I, I think we're, I've said it before, but I think it's like, um, like the board game Risk or the computer game Age of Empires or Age of Kings or uh, even SimCity. So I think somebody like plays Civilization as a game <laughs> and uh, um, and then when they're done with each round of the game they just overwrite it with uh, fresh earth or fresh continents, like a fresh landscape and then 
reset and start over maybe. And how often that occurs, I really don't know. I've heard speculation as to how many resets and stuff like that. I really don't know at this point, so I won't even bother trying. Um, okay, I think that's probably enough of Kazakhstan. I'm sure there's plenty more we could see if we just spent some time, even like these streaks, these patchy streaks like this. They strike me as somewhat goofy. But that's probably a longer investigation and conversation. So let's go to our last example, which I believe is, yeah, Guinea in Africa. So let's check this area out. And I may not be able to keep this short because this area is uh, um, pretty cray cray. So first of all, I don't even know where Guinea is. Uh, it's somewhere, one of these, <laughs> we'll find it. Uh, is this it? Congo, Gabon, Equatorial Guinea. I feel like we're getting close. Where the hell is Guinea? Maybe over here. There we go, Guinea. So let's just check out a random place mark in Guinea for real quick. So straight parallel lines, der, der. This is going to be a pretty ubiquitous thing. That's what I mean when I say the area is pretty, pretty crazy. Just lines air, like pretty much everywhere. Uh, the old grid, pretty ubiquitous. Um, angular tree line, kind of. Potentially, potentially, like this maybe. Uh, what do we got way over here? Whole area faintly angular, patchy, worked over thousands of square miles surrounding country as well. So patchy and worked over. Yeah, kind of, kind of angular look here. Uh, like this, I think I'm referring to like this stuff. Bumps are interesting. see. Could be some modern stuff, obviously. Possible straight parallel lines there. Straight line there, maybe here. So um let me see if I can find where that place mark is. So here's Guinea and okay, so this is the old grid that's kind of ubiquitous throughout the whole area like this. Uh, this looking similar to the east coast of the US. Now, obviously, some of that could be modern stuff. We see faint indications of it, like, everywhere, pretty much. Like this. Here, even. And down here. Cartoonish contour to tree line, so it's like... Kind of a goofy curve and angle here. And what else? Fairly linear groove or path. Maybe this. Faint linear groove continues on this side. See it? Um, I think it's more visible in the newer photo. But yeah, you kind of see it continue like this. Kind of see other faint linear stuff. Yeah, I definitely like kind of see this. 
bunch of parallel lines and stuff. Yeah, like this one kind of continuing there. Um, there's a good example. You kind of see a tree line there and then this tick mark there and something here, like a continuation of that. And pretty cool. Herky jerky river bends, uh, subjectively cartoonish, yeah, I would say. And then here, this may be in use. These grid patterns, uh, clean angles, older photos. Um, okay, just grid stuff. Yeah, these uh, parallel tick marks potentially uh, not a super strong example. More old grid. All right, let me straight groove. Okay, so there's a straight, straight groove in 2003, straight-ish, I would say. And I don't think I have uh, gotten to that one spot in the still image yet. It's somewhere around here. Uh, I don't know what I'm referring to here. Angular patchiness, just chilling out here. So this is like the old grid. Faint linear groove, yeah, right there, maybe. Straight for a bit, maybe. Skip this. Here's this old grid. Parallel lines, parallel to shore. Half the time I can't even see what I'm talking about. Possible straight parallel lines here, these. Fairly linear feature, this guy. Similar stuff here. Now let's go up the coast a bit. Oh yeah, so many of these long straight grooves, these pretty large scale operation here, these even, and they're not all perfectly straight, so maybe natural, but may also just be artificial that utilizes some randomness for realism's sake. So like this whole area is like crisscross with these creases. Could just be natural geological stuff. I don't know. Cartoonishly straight stretch. 
potentially like this and then straight and then this. Possibly. Okay, so here's where I had that still image. Just uh, this kind of perfect looking corner somewhat. Nice and sharp there. Um, I don't necessarily feel as strongly about that as I did a while back. Here we have this, whatever that is. Um, but the pointy river junctions do still bug me a bit, so I'm still keeping that on the table. More old grid here, again, pretty much ubiquitous, like everywhere. Not everywhere, everywhere, but like super widespread. Um, and I might wrap it up just after I demonstrate the widespreadness of this old grid phenomenon. Here we have it going into this rivered area. See it faintly everywhere. Uh, more old grid up here. Again, just a vast affected area. Okay. And way up north here. Angular zigzaggy river, not to mention all the uh, patchy grid, uh, but the uh, zigzag potentially angular turn here. Let's zoom out a little bit. Somewhat goofy. And another couple goofy turns here potentially uh, could have to do with the, the grid. which is obviously pretty ubiquitous in the area. See it underneath all this stuff as well. And that's just in Guinea so far, but it extends like way up here into whatever country this is up north. See it overgrown the whole area. Uh, any long thin lines in the area. Linear things. I didn't see the overgrown old grid particularly well in this photo. Uh, you kind of seeing some patchy angular patterns, perhaps. Let's see. Potential continuation of this maneuver here, right there. Spirals, curlies, that's pretty cool. So more gibberish patterns, potentially. They may be practical or left over from some type of uh, conventional Activity, these straight lines everywhere. Dur. This one certainly right there. More old grid. Pretty vast area. More, more. More, I see it here. And where else? Up into, what is this now? Senegal. Here on this little island here. So this is probably, I hadn't found this yet when I filmed the old grid episode, but this may be one of the best examples our best areas for old grid. 
as, as we're calling it, this type of deal. So, is what it is. Okay, so I might wrap it up in a minute. I think we're in Senegal now, and again, seeing the extent of the old grid, just vast areas. Maybe something here, maybe not. Angular tree layout overgrown old grid. Could be. And anything else? Let's go down here a bit. I think there was more old grid and stuff like way over here also. Channels are modern or old. Check this out. Uh, this may be like oil stuff or whatever. A lot of these linear channels here. Whole area cartoonish looking. Any lines and angles? So cartoonish looking. Let's see if we can find any actual uh, artificial stuff. Faint parallel lines. So, hmm. Maybe here is what I mean, I'm not sure. Sometimes it takes me like several minutes to acclimate to an area once I revisit it to get used to what's going on, like before the, the lines start jumping out at me. I'm seeing something here. Straight line. Like here maybe. Okay. Parallel grooves. I think I mean like these guys. One, two, three. This maybe this. Potentially. And. Trailing off anticlimactically like I tend to. We moved towards a sign off. Not just yet, but coming up, we will sign off. And it's coming up. And let's go ahead and uh, And the uh, video. Catch you later.